open? You gonna second guess me every step of the way? I'm not! There, let's go! I wasn't second guessing, I'm just... Sure! These doors have been barricaded. It means someone at least tried to resist. That lot of good it did them. We don't know that. There could still be others on the station. Or maybe those are the survivors who fled on the Hallows Hope. Were we in the same elevator? Those Nova barely got a shot off before they were gunned down by them glowy ones. I think Rocket's right. Don't patronize me. I wasn't. You're just trying to make nice, now that this whole thing has gone to scut. You didn't listen to me about selling group, and you didn't listen to me here. What do you want me to say? You were right, Rocket's right, we should always listen to Rocket! <clears throat> it's a start. <sighs> Alright, hanger, here we come. What the flark was that docking number? R73-4PL. Are you serious? Always. You're my new favorite person, Muscles. I am Groot. No, not really. There she is. Come to Papa. 4PL, done. Alright. Bay is clear, extending catwalks, and... Flark! What's up? The clamps won't release. Those whack jobs must have triggered a lockdown. Can you override it? Wouldn't be much of a lockdown if I could. I can hold her in position and get the engines warmed up, but you're gonna have to release those clamps manually. All right, release the clamps and don't die. All faithful, converge on the central hangar. None can escape Let her life. Let us deal with these rebels! Focus on the clamps, Peter! We'll try to keep them off of you! Stick it to them, Groot! If these guys would mind getting out of the way, how exactly do we release these things? What am I, a user's manual? Fix them the fucking thing! This won't hurt much! Punch their luck and rock it! Let's you get some twos for the Milano! Is that really what's important? Brave to win a battle like this, Peter Quill. Order the others to stand down so that I may finish it alone. Uh, no. If anyone's gonna win this alone, it'll be me and my blade. I am good. Dudes, quit talking about fighting alone. We're a team. We fight better together. Because out on that field, it's all for one and one for all. And that's exactly how we win this time. Who's with me? I am with you, Peter Quill! Let's do this! Look for the squad where they clap together and shoot! Try to keep them from swarming! I shoot fire on insects, though they are as troublesome! This has got my How name on it! How we release these things? What am I, a user? Hey, Rock! 
Some assistance! Defeat them before they defeat you! Appreciate the help, big guy!
what? We should set course for Contraxia. They bear our issues over a cold catastrophe. I don't hate it, but... We should report what we saw first, right? Because that's our big problem, Quill. Come on, Groot, we got Scott to do. Rocket! What's with him? The abomination is never happy. Rocket's got a point, though. Our comms are flarked, the trackers still count him down, and Corel could be anywhere in the universe. <sighs> it's not looking good. We are in the place between hard rocks. You mean a rock and a hard place? That is what I said. Helen knows we could use a night off. So, Contraxia? We should go to nowhere instead. Ah, another suitable location to partake in liberal libations. To report what we saw. Me and Cosmo go way back. He's chief of security. He'll make sure the right people know about the rock. And the tracker and fine? Rocket's got a guy in nowhere. We kill two birds with one stone. Okay. I'll set the coordinates. Maybe... talk to Rocket? Peter Quill, what does killing two birds with one stone signify? It means solving two problems with a single solution. Hey, Drax, you all right? You must be feeling pretty crap about having to punch through all those cops back on the station. Uh, do not worry. I simply need some time to get my thoughts in order. Right. Never thought we'd have to fight Novacor. The soldiers we encountered were not acting like Novacor officers. And those robed priests, it was all very disturbing. Assassin, you believe the events unfolding aboard the Rock qualify as a mutiny, correct? Look pretty obvious to me. Even if the officers who rebelled were under the influence of a mysterious force? Doesn't really change that they rejected Novacor orders and started killing their shipmates. I find it repulsive. I'm only doing this because I'm nicer than you. I wish you cared about us as much as you cared about your gadgets. Guys? What's up? Nothing at all, Quill. Not a thing. Uh, something wrong with Groot? Nope. He's just, uh, defoliating. Seasonal thing. Come on, I know you're lying. You guys are planning something. What we do ain't none of your business. Leave us alone, Quill. Uh, Rocket? Flark off, Quill! Come on, guys. I am Groot. Groot says, go away. Let's talk about it. Leave us alone. 
Groot, reason with him. Groot don't want to talk to you. Rocket. Groot? Guys. Rocket. Groot? Guys. I need to clear my mind. This book is not helping. If you need a recommendation, I just... So those coordinates. They're in your console. Got it. Nowhere here we come. and home to the best black market deals you can find. And surprisingly good noodles. You ever wondered what kind of person found it was like, oh look, the severed head of a giant celestial being. Let's drill holes in it and live inside. They wanted the brain tissue. Very rare, very valuable. The marketplace came after, along with noodles. You are certain this Cosmo is trustworthy, Peter Quill? Of course. He's chief of security. And nowhere. And as such, probably deals in Novacore all the time. Trust me. He's gonna want to know about the rock. What are they doing back there? Shenanigans, likely. See you never, flark bags! Are Rocket and Groot, did they really leave? Yes. It looks like it. Do we know where they went? You're the last one who talked to them. Yeah, Rocket seemed pissed off. Looks like Rocket forgot his stuff. Hopefully that means he'll be back for it. Where do you want to partake in liberal libations? I am unsure. Perhaps Mentlo's Tavern. Really? Why not Al's Bar instead? Guess you were right. Turns out we couldn't trust those guys. I still have faith that the tree will bring the rodent to reason. Fine, whatever. We'll talk to Cosmo and then we'll go out and have a good time. believe us like I said we go way back plus he's probably already heard about what's happening all we do is confirm the rumor maybe he'll even give us a reward have you had dealings with this Cosmo murderess we've circled back to that name have we as a statement of fact or by trade an assassin and you're a convicted serial killer. Your hands aren't exactly clean. I washed them before leaving the ship. What about Rocket and Groot? What about them? They left. What am I supposed to do? Chase them down and beg them to come back? You could apologize. That's your advice? The apology does not need to be sincere. Then what's the point? It demonstrates a willingness to compromise. Without actually compromising? Yes. Are we 
find this Cosmo? We head to his tower on the far side of the market. That's where he keeps an eye on things. Cosmo again. I guess I kind of miss the old boy. How exactly do you know him? Was he also a prisoner of the Chitauri? Nope. We met right here, back when I was in the Ravagers. Dishonorable killers and thieves. The Ravagers actually did some good during the war. Whatever bad stuff we all did is behind us. We're the good guys now. Right. Heroes for hire. Except no one will hire us. Maybe Cosmo will have a fetch quest for us or something. We might even come out ahead on this. Keep an eye on your things. These kooks are a bit hands-on, if you know what I mean. Did they have fortune tellers on Earth, Peter Quill? The soothsayers on Katath were unable to predict its demise. No one could predict what Thanos would do. Mad Titan will pay. <laughs> Nexus, what are you... Do you still have those suicide allergies? What? No? And you thought joining a team would be bad for you. Hi. Sunlord, right? Is it Rockstar? It's Star Lord. Hey, that's right. I forget which version of you I've met. Did you do the thing yet? What is the thing she is referring to? No idea. Hi. I don't know if we've met yet. I'm... No. No, no, no. It's not... Oh! Oh, you fool. No, he's lying! I mean... Oh! By the Kotati's heroes, the broken promise of all we meant. Less depressed. Thanks. Don't worry. It's always weird the first time. Celestial Madonna! Ah. Uh, Hi, guys. You should not be in this place. Actually, I'm exactly where I need to be. I think. No. Yes, this is where I need to be. Or needed to be. Am needed, yes. Wait, why are you here? You cannot keep leaving the sanctuary. It's not safe. There are rumblings in the galaxy. <laughs> when aren't there rumblings in the galaxy? <laughs> Yuck. Okay. We're gonna keep making that face. It was nice seeing you again, Gamora. Star guy. Green moon. Okay. Bye. So, Gamora, you and Mantis seem close. We've met. Okay. You are being evasive, woman. Wait, woman? I'm not gonna ask, but if you wanted to talk about it... <sighs> we met after I escaped from a failed job. I, I was in bad shape. I'd probably be dead if Mantis hadn't found me. She saved your life. Yep. End of story. That is not the end of the story. I know, big... <clears throat> I need to leave. Uh, something wrong? It's not your business, Peter Quill. Do not wait for me. Who's that? Drax! Watch it, Star Lord! Watch yourself, jerky bread guy! Can you believe that? Talk to Cosmo alone. Smell. 
I hope Cosmo's in the office. Bridge closed. Go away. Doesn't look closed. See soon. Nowhere security. Super official. Go out way, Ali. Ali. I really need to see Cosmo. Cosmo not in tower. He out there, Star Lord in Ali. Wait, how did you know my name? Go, or end up in Cosmo prison. You choose. Cosmo! You in here? Cosmo! Sure. Not weird at all. Cosmo is definitely somewhere in this maze of rotting brain matter. Okay. Just gotta find Cosmo. Then I can deal with the team. If I can find them. something out there, but I won't tell you what it is, because I think being distant makes me mysterious. Who's there? Oh, I hate mazes, especially stinking brain mazes. Okay, dude, deep breath. Deep breath. Look at you, Flarkin Humey. Bet you end up inside one of them processing machines. Flark! Give yourself a heart attack. Got here. Watch it, Star Lord. And what's a filthy scut stained Terran doing out here, Rawson? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Aye. Terrans always be hiding. Cause everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for eating. Uh, if you're into that, we might be into that. Except for the bounty. <laughs> hey, guys. Wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. Get to the point, Terran. The point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. Except this Terran's got a word on his back. Just like the bounty says. What's that word on your back say? Uh, I heart nowhere. Mm. On 
maybe it says Star-Lord. Either way... Get him!